my heart. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? Like a strife here, and I uh, wanted to show you guys my um, oh my um, custom drift racer. There were people in the comments and people asking me personally if I could show them how I modified this little car and as you can see the front is hanging a little bit loose but that's my my own design like that um, this is a very tight body because there is like um, a wide kit on the front and the back of the model and then at the doors it goes a little inward so I had to do some custom stuff to the drift racer to get it to fit this is a Takara Tomy drift package nano uh, body as everybody knows uh, or most of you uh, these are very rare right now you cannot buy these anymore you can look on ebay and you're gonna buy two or three or four or five six hundred euros for them i had the whole collection i decided to modify this one because i really like this body and <clears throat> i am actually selling all of the other cars and I already sold two or three of them and a couple of a uh, couple of them i want to keep because of the initial d versions and the hachiroku that i really love and uh, yeah, this is um, the custom one. I need to put the sound on. Show you that everything works. This is a very small table here, so. But yeah, it, it works really well. Everything is good. The wheels spin and everything is done. So now I'm going to turn it off and show you guys what it looks on, uh, looks like on the inside okay so to be quite fair it's actually really bad how I did it um, it's not nice it's not professional but I'm gonna show you guys anyway so this is the underside and um, this is just the body how it is I think I turned it off already yeah there we go uh, you can see right here that I cut this um, exhaust off because I had to do it like that, I'm gonna move the light over here so that it's gonna be able to show it better. See, I cut the whole bottom plate off because it would not fit. So now I'm gonna try and gently get it off because there is a specific stuff there that keeps it in place and I have to be gentle about it because it's gonna keep it in place for a very long while. There you go, it just pops off. And um, you can see that it's kind of clicked underneath there and it's because of this body stuff. So now that I have this loose, I'm gonna move this out the way and this is just actually your normal piece of paper that I folded into a steering bracket. See, there you go. It's gonna come off right now. I'm just gonna pull this off gently. And there's some white goo underneath that and that is actually called buddy. Buddy is a substance that you can use uh, to put on posters and then slap them against the wall and you will never get uh, problems with like uh, weird, um, how do you say, like weird marks on your uh, wall. So it is very good stuff for um, model building as well because it's like a sort of putty, like clay. So I'm going to grab this off again real quick. This is just the steering right here. It's a little bit dirty, I'm sorry for that because I haven't like cleaned this properly. So as you can see right here, I glued, or it's actually some kind of um, white, yeah it's not really glue. It looks like glue, it's white stuff, it keeps it under pressure right here in, the, uh, in between these brackets. These are the normal brackets for the, the, the Drift Package Nano car and I cut them in. So I can drop this little thing, hang on. God, it's dusty and hairy here. It's been a long time since I really, really cleaned it. So this just drops in like that. And I made it so that the wheels are aligned like that. So it just drops in that area right there. It's difficult to see. I'm gonna try to show you guys again. So it's gonna be like that, see? It's in those little grooves. And uh, yeah, so that's super simple. I just glued that weight, put some buddy over here in between. It's a very tight fit. And because the walls are very um, close together here with the doors, I had to 
cut the side panels off of one of my drift racers. Now, I'm absolutely against modifying stuff like this, but I really wanted to finish the project and I really had to make it fit. And this is just a test one, but it really works very well. So there you go. It's just, I opened this, I took out the motor. I just uh, opened that a little bit, shaved it down a little bit and everything works really good. It's just enough for the motors to spin and I get no problems with that. And then uh, on the other side, as you can see, there's a mold here. That's actually more buddy. I just put it there. I just grab this, I click it in like so, put it on the back. I have to fumble around with it a little bit and then it just sticks into place like that. So you have halfway done. So that just pops into there. I have to align it a little bit, see if the wheels are correct. I just press it down and it stays there for a long time. It doesn't, it never fell out. Um, yeah, I got it misaligned right now because I normally always put it underneath the, um, the bracket. I always do it like, let's say I put it against that weight and then I press down on it and then it stays like that. See, and then it pops into place and the wheels are really aligned very well. So yeah, that's actually how I do it. So this is now tightly put together. I can grab this again, um, the steering pop it into here, press down on it a little bit, then grab this little thing right here, this little piece of cardboard or paper, and all I have to do is fumble it in between like there, put this down, press it with my finger so that it grips a little bit. There we go, now it can move freely. As you can see, I do this, but it's in there right now. And I can put it down and everything is aligned again. As you can see, the wobble is good. It's a very low body. Um, people in the community said, yo, you need to lower it, but it's already pretty low. And if I lower it even more, the wobble is not gonna be there. And I don't like it when, uh, when I drift over bumps because I have like a laminated floor and uh, not everything is perfect here in the house. So yeah, I have to uh, figure out how to um, uh, drift smoothly. So my next step is going to be that the back wheels are pretty wide and they um, go very well with the, the body line over here, but the front wheels are lacking a little bit and they have a little bit of a uh, movement. So I have to figure out how I can fix that. What I am going to do is I'm going to try on my next project to get the front wheels a little bit wider outside. And um, yeah, I'm going to probably do that right now and see if I can fix that. And if I can, I'll make a video about that. So thanks for watching. Just buy that buddy stuff. It's from the uh, brand called Prit. That's P-R-I-T-T. -T. Um, that's something Dutch. Uh, I don't know if it's in English or American or whatever, if you can buy it somewhere else, but I know it's called Buddy, B-U-D-D-Y. And it's actually very good clay. I really like it. I use it a lot for my model stuff. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. This was my custom drift racer. You can do very minimalistic things to get a body to fit on there. Just be sure that it's one double points 43. So it's scale on one on 43. And um, yeah, enjoy yourself and hope to see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.